Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make quick chicken nachos. If you have company coming over and the only choice you have is chips and dip, you can spice it up with stuff that you already have in your fridge. So let's get to this video. So you're gonna need a bag of pre-cooked chicken. If you wanna make your own chicken, that's okay. But I just buy it in the supermarket, just like this, in a pre-cooked bag. So I use it for my salads and stuff. You're gonna need cheese dip, guacamole, and salsa, if you like sauces. And then you're gonna need some mixed cheese. Using any type you want, you can get creative. And you can even use sour cream. So spice it up, make it your own, and remember, this is fast, convenient, and easy. No cleanup. So to avoid any cleanup, we're only gonna use a piece of foil. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Then you can use the original Tocitos, which are thick and crispy, or the thin and crispy, which become ultra crispy. So I'm gonna use these for today. And all I'm gonna do is line up my Tocitos about two inches apart on the foil. I like to use the shredded cheddar cheese or you can use the Fiesta blend which comes with mozzarella and cheddar together. Then you want to use the already cooked chicken. So you put the cheese first and the reason I'm putting so much is because the bottom cheese is going to melt into the tortilla. So you're going to put more cheese on the top. It may look like a lot of cheese but once it's done, it won't be. So put as much cheese as your heart desires. Next, you're gonna take your already cooked chicken. So I use the one that comes in the chicken fajita bag. It's about $4.99 at your supermarket, and it's already cooked. So all I do is cut it in half and put a small piece of chicken on each tortilla. And then I'm gonna top it off with even more cheese. At this point, you can add like your jalapenos or tomatoes or pico or anything you want. But I like mine plain, just chicken and cheese. And then I put my jalapenos when they're done. So just put your foil directly on the oven rack for five minutes uncovered. Then depending on what you prefer, I have salsa, hot cheese dip, and I have guacamole. And depending on your guest, some people might even like them plain. When the five minutes is up, you can slowly pull off the nachos off of the foil and you'll see all the cheese is melted and they look so delicious. You can dip them and there's no cleanup required, only just your plates. Once all your nachos are picked up, you can just get rid of the foil in the garbage and enjoy. Thanks for watching.